I hunt for a living, and the ammunition I trust is Hornady. Specifically, I like using the Hornady Superformance 53 grain and 223. It drops coyotes on the spot. What's really cool is during the Hornady tour, we're gonna show you all the work that went into it, including shooting through ballistic gelatin to show you why Hornady makes some of the best ammunition in the world. Well, we're here at Hornady, and I'm with the director of marketing, Neil Davies. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me today. You bet, Fred. I'm excited to get a tour. Yeah, well, you're ready to go. We'll start this thing off. We'll start right through here in the tools department. Okay, sounds terrific. I'll follow you. All right, let's go. So these are all your CNC machines. Yep, this is where CNC everything's stuff. done. This is where all the tool and die makers work. So these are the guys that keep all of our stuff running because, you know, like all bullet and ammunition manufacturers, we don't share a lot of our technology. So, you know, we've kind of built our technology alone and we keep a lot of our own stuff running. That all takes place out here. This is what we're turning out right here. So this is going to be a lock and load AP all set up and ready to go over to the next stage for assembly. Right. See, this is the base of the station here, yep. one of the reloaders. They're making all this here. Like Neil said, what's great is not only are they making the bullets, not only are they making the full rounds and everything, they're also making all the reloaders right here in-house in Nebraska. What a neat process. Manufacturing is always fascinating. There's your handle, there's your measure. Boom, boom. Just like that, that reloader is ready to be shipped to your door. Isn't that cool? So anybody out there that's a wildcatter, if you put together your own round, you can actually contact Hornady and they'll make a die for you. All right, so this is where it all starts. This is where we start the base of the bullet. So it comes in, it's lead ingots that we get from our distributor. We then smelt it down. So this is how it all comes in, as just huge stock of just that's big how, lead that's stock. That's coming in, big ingots like that, and then we'll melt it down. And then you guys are turning it into these tubes. That we can then handle, yeah. You should pick one of those up. That was unbelievable. Not only, I mean, it was so neat for me to see that you guys get it in in big lead ingots, I'll call it, yeah. and then melt it into the little tubes. I say little tubes, 150 <laughs> yeah. pound, 150 tubes, pound of tubes of lead. And then when you take it through and, and you guys make the actual lead wire out of it for the bullet core, yeah. I mean, what a neat deal to go through the whole process and see how you guys do that. Man, it's really fascinating to see what it does. And any little variation in that process somewhere, and you end up with a bad product. So that's why you gotta have quality control, which is what we're doing down here in the lab to see uh, you know, our test process right now so and I hope everybody appreciates it as much as I do now you don't think about that stuff you usually just throw it in the gun and you shoot it you know the coyote or the deer or the elk drops or you punch a target and you don't think of the process no that's pretty cool to see Neil Davies took me on a tour from A to Z I got to see where they were putting together the reloaders all the way to the different processes that the ammunition goes through I got to see how many steps it takes for a little bead of brass like that to go to a complete finished shell like that. I was pretty impressed. Oh, it's awesome, I, I really am, I'm impressed. And I'm also impressed that you guys have designed a lot of these machines and the, and the, the processes that it goes through, you guys have designed yourselves. And I think that's even cooler. Yeah, you know, a lot of it is just independent uh, adaptation that's taken place to come up with some of the processes that we have. And, uh, you know, we've got a great group of people here. Just about everybody's from this part of the country. Uh, you know, rural backgrounds or, you know, just about everybody likes to shoot or hunt, loves the outdoors. And it comes to play when they come to work because you can see their passion in what they produce. That's awesome. Made in the USA and these guys are all hunters. I love it. Making a standard. One of the most popular rounds out there. Look at that. We also do a push test right here. We push that bullet to check neck tension. And then on that red machine right there, we'll do a full test. So besides making sure everything's manufactured properly, they even spot check and they're pulling, the, like, like Neil said, they're actually pulling these bullets, measuring exactly how much pressure it takes to pull it because like you said, the neck pressure and how that bullet's seated, how far it's seated, exactly. all that makes a huge difference in accuracy. So what blows me away here is people are hand checking these rounds. So exactly. you're telling me they go through and check to make sure it'll fit in every single cartridge, every, every, every one. They're all, they're all chamber checked. They're all inspected for dings, dents, anything like that. Make sure the primers are in correctly. No folds around the neck of the cartridge case. Bullets are fine, everything like that. Um, so yeah, every single round that somebody buys out there has been checked by one of these ladies right here. That's why I shoot Hornady right there. That's awesome. Thanks, Neil. That's cool. I feel like a kid in a candy store. This is unreal. It's got to be tough working in a place like this because you just want to go shoot every day. I may shoot my next coyote with that round. 
And you may too. That's really cool. So right here, Fred, this is all the bulk bullets. So as soon as they get manufactured, washed, ready to go, they'll be put in bulk. So from bulk, they'll either go over to the ammo factory to get loaded into our ammunition, or else they'll get boxed individually to be resold. Or we also sell a lot of bullets to manufacturers throughout the world that load our bullets as well. You know, I, I think a lot of people don't realize that you guys make such quality bullets that a ton of other manufacturers are using your bullets in their rounds. Oh, exactly. We, we, we sell bullets to the majority of the ammo manufacturers and assemblers that you know that are out there. Um, you know, we have great relationship with them, and it's good for us to have those bullets in everybody's uh, box of ammo, quite frankly. I think it's awesome. Now, I keep hearing... A big bang back here. Here in a bang. So what's going on here is this is uh, Kevin Sock. He's testing bullets right here. So when they start those machines up and they start getting their bullets uh, ready to go, they'll bring them down here once they've measured correctly and everything like that. And then he's going to load them. So Kevin hand loads some some uh, bullets themselves. And we'll lock them in our rail gun. Look at this. How 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 what do you how you big? can look down the scope though. Holy smokes! Look at the tunnel. The target on the left is a hundred yard. The target on the right is the two hundred yard. They have a two hundred yard tunnel. This is what we're looking at basically as it was getting built. This is the tunnel that you're shooting now. Put the round in. I'm gonna step out the room and turn the key like I normally do. Ready? Ready? That was cool. They're shooting out of a pressure and velocity barrel. So this right here is the barrel that they're testing out of. So it's got the, uh, the uh, pressure gauge right here that's run through the, to the computer over there. So they're gonna test everything to make sure that number one. So that's it's not dangerous, you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah, yeah, pressures and make sure it's matching everything that right. it's supposed it's, to. It's, it's gonna get the uh, as advertised velocity, but it's still gonna remain within SAMI compliance because we are a SAMI, we voluntarily adhere to the SAMI standards for all of our ammunition manufacturing. So we've got pressure limits that we gotta work within for all of our ammo. So they're gonna test it because each lot of powder, uh, there might be a speed difference in what you get from one lot to the other. So we gotta test that and make sure that that's working right. And then they might have to change their load up in the ammo factory to meet the velocity and the pressure specs. All right, Fred, so before you leave here, I got uh, some 223-53 grain Superformance. Awesome. I figured we'd come over here and shoot it in this block of jello so you see what it looks like through the industry standard, which is this jelly. You better feel that stuff. That's pretty hard right there. Kind of nice, right? That is neat. There I like go. it. I right. like it. So we'll shoot this and we'll come back and we'll take a look at that cavity and you'll see what it looks like. That sounds great. All right. I'm excited to check it out. Oh, oh, oh I love it. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. So that's what you, this is the 53 grain. 223 Superformance, you're going to get you know rapid expansion right up front, so it's going to happen pretty quick, but you're only going to have a small piece of bullet fragmentation on the backside. So, and this is a point blank. Right? This, this is why I love this round, because yep. look at a coyote's chest right here. That's why you're not having to sew them up with this round, yep. but you're still getting maximum damage where you need it. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely impressive. Can, can you see that from the side? Look at, look at this. Look at what it's done to that. I'm gonna roll it over again so you can see it from the top. Look at what it's done to that ballistic gelatin. That's awesome. Hurdy's got a lot of cool stuff. I think it's been about two weeks here just playing. Well, we got one more thing to do. We need to go downstairs and shoot uh, some uh, full auto fun. So. All right. Well, yeah, we better test some okay. uh, better test some Hornady rounds. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I think one of the neatest things for me was getting to shoot through the ballistic gelatin and seeing and hearing all the science that went behind designing the Superformance round. It doesn't matter whether you're shooting a 223, 22, 250. These rounds were designed to expand and give maximum damage where you. You want it which is inside the chest cavity expend all the energy so you don't have a huge exit wound out the back if i'm selling hides that's exactly what i'm looking for and more importantly it puts the animals down on the spot i also got to have a little fun with some machine guns and now let her go, go. <laughs> you gotta love it though you gotta love it isn't that fun? I mean, that's awesome. We here today is Monday, but normally we have full auto Fridays. Do you really? Yeah. So everybody gets to play. So we'll come down and shoot a couple <laughs> of the guns off and have a good time. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Neil, this has been an absolute blast. And what a great learning experience. I hope you guys got as much out of it as I did because I got I had no idea the processes, everything it took to make just, you know, to make the cartridge case, to make the actual bullet and all the steps that you guys go through to get what we just take for granted when we pull it out of the box and shoot it. Yeah, it's uh, there's a little bit of rocket science going on here. Make no mistake. <laughs> true, so true. Man, I really appreciate yeah, it, buddy. It's been a blast. Me. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's one of the things I love about Hornady. That ammo puts them down when you shoot them. Like this. And this. And all these. <laughs>